In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a simple word cloud in R. We only need two packages to do this the TM package, which is text mining, and the word cloud package. So you need to install that, and we will need to get them out of our library. And then we need to read in some data. When we read in data in this example, we don't read in a file, we tell R that our data that we want to read in a text document is in a folder so we've got a text file in this case it's on my m drive and it's in a file called wc for word cloud and it's just a text document so here's the file it's in my m drive it's wc and it's called 30 years war and it's just a standard text document and essentially what i've done in this document is go to the Encyclopedia Britannica and just copy and paste in the 30 years war pages. So that's basically it. So this is what I'm going to text mine. This is just some raw information here. So I'm going to read this in. I'm going to call it war. Now, a key thing when we're doing our text mining is that we need to make sure things are consistent we need to get rid of certain words and so on so using tm map we can do a few different things first thing i'm going to do is convert everything to lowercase so that's the in my war object that i've read in content transformer to lower so i'm making everything lowercase next one i'm going to remove numbers then I'm going to remove what are called stop words. These are just common English stop words. The stop words here in English, you can do it in other language. This is just going to get rid of you know, lots of things that are obviously going to crop up and the things like that. Obviously, you were not interested in words like that. So this just gets rid of the real basic words. If we want to get rid of some more specific words, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But this is just going to get rid of the basics. Then I can remove punctuation. And then I can get rid of any white space, so any extra spaces in the document. So I can run all that. So this is basically just cleaned up the document to make it a bit more sensible for the word cloud. Now, then I just need to use the word cloud package with the word cloud function. Then I'm going to take my war object. Then I've got my scale. This is going to be min and max scale, so how big my words are going to be. The maximum number of words I'm going to show, whether I'm going to show them um, in a random order or not. The number of rotations, this is going to be how many are vertical and how many are horizontal. This is percentage of vertical words. So we could change that to 0 0.3. That'll mean that just under a third are going to be vertically. Use our layout as true. This just stops things colliding with each other. And then colors. So we've got our brew palette. And I'm using the spectral palette. If you go onto the Brewers palette web pages, you can see all the different options. And this is the number of colors that I'm selecting from that. You can adjust that accordingly. And you know, if you're having a go at this, just, just play around with some of these numbers and so on to see how it produces it. It'll work better for some things than for others. So we can run that. And this produces my word cloud. So you can see Europe being the most common, and war, Roman, then we've got sweden in there and then we've got lots of words baltic struggle 30 germany years power and so on now we may look at this and go ah, do you know what what use is the word many and the word various so what what why would we want those into a word part so we may want to go back and what we do is we can use our remove words command and then we can just list specific words that we think you know, these are pretty useless to us so in that case i just say here's my list c here's my list of words that i want to remove from that instead so for my war document i'm not going to include these anymore so i can run that again let's see my new word cloud so here's my new word cloud and you can see it's a little bit more sensible now i've got rid of some of those um words there, so we're going to see various and many. And you could go through and go, oh, do you know what? I don't want war in there, particularly. It's the 30 years war after all, 13 years appear a lot, and so on. 
So it's up to you. So you can see how you can adjust these things. Now, if I was to change the maximum possible number of words, I could change that to three. Obviously, that'd be a bit daft. There's three of the most common words. So let's change that back to, let's put that as 15 instead. There we go. So it's a bit tighter than the previous one. And we can change our scale. So I'm just going to get bigger when we do these scales and so on. So it's it's worth, if you want to do this, it's worth playing around for this. As ever, the data is in the link below this video. And I've also put in the um, 30 Years War documents as well. So you could replicate this if you like.